Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. Gonna do your weekend reading to see what messages show up here for you. Also, hope everybody is safe out there in uh, good old Florida. Let's take a look and see. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. All right, what to expect this weekend? Okay, you've got some kind of reunion, maybe a party or somewhere that you're going, um, or there's a community. Uh, coming together over the weekend that you're going to be a part of okay some of you there might be like an event a wedding um, there might be a reunion between you and another person romantic reunion it might be getting married or an engagement something along those lines this is a feeling of family strong family energies over this weekend whether that's your biological family or your uh, your soul tribe family, whomever your people are. You could be going to a work, fa uh, like a work, outdoor work event as well. Okay, so you also have the King of Pentacles. So there is a connection um, to either a Virgo Taurus Capricorn uh, that you could be attending this event with or connecting with, masculine or feminine. But there's also uh, stability. You feeling, not feeling, there's no feelings. Uh, I think you might be looking at your money. Maybe you're putting, hosting a party or putting a party together this weekend, shopping, uh, maybe looking for a nice outfit to wear to an event over this weekend as well. You're looking at your money. You might be couponing or looking for deals for some type of an event or celebration or just, you could just be planning. You might not be going anywhere this weekend, okay? Maybe you're planning for a future event. You're paying for it. Or there's somebody paying for it, okay? Let's see. All right. I also see you. Hmm. You're out and about this weekend, Virgo. A lot of walking. So I don't know if this is for exercise or you just don't have your vehicle. It's a lot of walking, a lot of movement, exploring. You might be exploring an area this weekend or you are going somewhere. You're traveling. You could be um, maybe, just, maybe just hiking or, you know, going through a wood trail or something or going through the mountains there is an energy of um definitely moving on or moving forward here okay some of you are moving away from a relationship as well over this weekend okay and just taking some time out you could be going somewhere with someone as well um a little excursion over the weekend with a lover or a friend or a family member here um, now, this feels like a temporary thing, okay? This is not like, I'm out, gone forever, never looking back. It's not that. This is just like taking some time out, going somewhere, spending time alone in nature or spending time with someone else. And uh, feels like for some of you, it's, I do feel like maybe a walking event of some sort or walking through a town or just being out and about, like at a fair as well, Okay. So also have the Queen of Cups. going to be very significant to you over this weekend. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, let's see. You could be hanging out or this person and you. There's a temporary separation. You guys are coming back together over this weekend. Um, there's a reunion with a water sign or an earth sign. Okay. What else do you have going on here? Oh, Nine of Wands in the reverse. Wow. There we go. What's up? So um, isolation ends. Yep, whatever kind of isolation you've been in, you're coming out, coming out from under the rock or someone else's. There is an energy of um, getting your faith back, right? Not putting up hard, hardcore boundaries or walls. You're, you're free. I'm hearing freedom. Oh, they just gave me that George Michael song. Remember that song? I won't let you down. Freedom. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Peace. Wow, you got peace. R and R, rest and relaxation. Some of you are sleeping in over this weekend. You know what? Do it. Do it. Sleeping in. If you're not getting good night sleep, take a nap during the day. Okay. Rest and relaxation. Okay. This is also recovering, uh, healing after some type of a broken relationship. There might be somebody who uh, wants to heal a relationship with you, or you with them. This is also. Uh, I want to say no longer feeling anxious or restless. Uh, someone's ready to act. Um, there's no burnout here. And if there were, this is like peace, praying. Someone's praying for you, Virgo. Also, someone's like going into a church and is like kneeling down and saying prayers for you. I'm not kidding. 
praying for peace for you, praying for recovery for you, um, or for both of you, like legit, maybe even getting down on their knees. Now, some, some of you might be um, going to a funeral as well. This is not, hey, this is not predictive. This is something you already know about. And you could be attending a funeral over this weekend as well. Um, you might run into somebody as well. Someone from your past. Okay. All right. I'm just hearing... Um, someone's got like a, a thing for you, Virgo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody's got like a physical thing for you. Or you get aroused by something over this weekend. I'm just going to say that. Or you're by yourself and you're taking care of business. You know what I'm saying? We are so candid on this channel. It's just, it is what it is. Okay. Yeah. And there's also um, someone else is by themselves taking care of business when it comes to you. Okay. Thinking about you much? <laughs> All right. Virgo, I also feel like you're spending on yourself. You are not sharing any of the goods this weekend. Or you're not spending. You're holding on to your money. You're not dropping them coins in every in every coin slot you pass. No, Virgo's like, you're withholding. Okay? You're withholding. You might be in some debt and you're trying to save. Um, maybe you're struggling a little bit financially. But you are... You're being a bit more conscientious about where your money goes over this weekend. Somebody might ask you for money and you're not able to give it. Or you see something you really like and you're like, oh, I can't. We take a break from spending over this weekend. Oh, what's going on? Stuck energy. Stuck energy. Secretly stuck. What's this? Somebody's very hesitant to pay you back. Somebody owes you money. They can't pay you back. They're keeping it a secret. And then also I'm hearing they're giving you some money, but not the full amount. But they're not letting you know that they actually have more in their account to give back to you. Instead of paying you off first and then dealing with whatever they have left over, they're saving some for themselves. I feel like you need to know that. I don't know why, but I just feel like you need to know that. It's a little bit of a secret. There's also somebody here who is secretly stuck on you, doesn't want to let you go. Oh my gosh, my battery's almost dead already. It doesn't want to let you go. And they're coming in to make an offer. This is very slow. It could be a Taurus or a Libra. Okay. Um, but this person... That you are like everything to them. Um, could be a Taurus or a Libra. Could be a water sign. Could be an earth sign. Aquarius, I'm hearing. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, victory over a heartbreak. Wow. Are you breaking up with someone over this weekend? You might be. And it's, you feel good about it, I'm hearing. Brings you peace. Some kind of breakup brings you peace, Virgo. It gives you an opportunity to manifest new opportunities in your life. It gives you an opportunity to manifest things in your life is what I'm hearing. Right? So some kind of breakup needs to happen or argument or something needs to be said in order to be able to have a new beginning. Okay, the boss, the boss is working you hard and you're not getting paid enough. You're investing too much into some job or someone you work for. If you work for yourself, that's not you. If, um, or it could be the tax man, but your money's, no, you're not getting to keep. You need to, you need to relook over your situation here because whatever the withholdings are, it's too much. When you're investing and wasting your time with a particular job, that, someone that you work for, uh, you need to find ways to free up more money for yourself. There's a baby coming in. Oh, someone, there's a pregnancy and someone's like, very defensive about this. Doesn't want to have this baby. A new blessing. Who would who would be defensive against a blessing? Whether it's a child or a new relationship, proposal, or marriage. Someone's like, no, no, I don't want it. Well, it might be you. You're putting a stop on that new love. 
I feel like you might be a little bit avoidant here. Oh my gosh, this blessing coming in. Someone's in love with you and wants to connect, but it looks like this weekend you're like, nah, go away. You're protecting yourself. I feel like that's what that is. People who avoid or push back are just trying to protect themselves. The fear of getting hurt. There's a very healing relationship. It could be a friend. A friend um, that you don't have a thing for is interested in you, Virgo. And, you know, makes some kind of love offer. But I feel like if it's just a friend and you'd rather keep it just friends, you're not interested in that. You don't want that. You don't want anything romantic. Okay. Somebody's watching you, keeping an eye on you. This And so I'm just hearing this person's very careless. So you're going to find out who it is. Could be an Aquarius. But whoever, there's somebody here who's watching you and somehow they misstep. They make a, they make a mistake. Uh, whatever they're trying to hide themselves um they make a mistake and they they are seen or they get caught okay so if you know that you've got somebody watching you just so you know you're going to find out about who exactly it is or someone's whoever's kind of either talking about you or gossiping about you or um spying on you or being sneaky around you and you have a hunch but you're not 100 percent sure you're going to find out this weekend who this is for sure and that's going to come to an end oh big time but you're also going to see that somebody maybe is betrayal, betraying you. Um, gossip. There's betrayal with gossip. So you find out whoever's talking about you or talking ish on you. Um, you're going to find out that they're like, that's a little bit of a betrayal. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Um, you're going to choose a different path with this person or these people for sure. Okay, because their energy is not good. Um, you cutting it off because they're gonna get caught. You cut it off once you once you find out. You cut them off, a hundred percent. You have to, and move on. This could be a work thing, or this could be people you're really close to, or people you trust to trusted. Maybe some friends. Oh wow. Okay. There's some change. There's gonna be some change in your love life. A very happy situation, a happily ever after situation. Someone's coming to see you this weekend. Okay? Someone's coming to visit you. It could be a cancer. Um, Virgo, I kind of feel like to tell you here that um, someone's trying to avoid some trouble. Someone doesn't want any trouble. And then when it, they're coming to see you, They don't want something to end here. So they're coming to see you to, I don't know if this is, it's marriage or some kind of sacred union to secure a relationship that, that brings joy and happiness. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, there's a death card too. Yeah, something ended that was a real struggle, was difficult to deal with. There's new communication. This person's really into you. Okay, definitely. They've been keeping silent, but now they're going to come out and tell you. Yep, there's even an apology coming for you. Seeing things from a different light at this point. No more anxiety here. Looking out at the future with you as far as love goes. Oh, getting over the grief. Opening up. Having hope again. Feeling relieved. Someone's very dependent on you. Um, they don't want you to be single. They don't want to be single. They want to be with you. There's a reconciliation. A lot of truth coming out with someone here, Virgo. Yep, somebody's struggling. Seriously, it could be a king of swords, air sign, masculine or feminine. They want to make new plans with you here, Virgo. Coming fast, big change. You better keep your eyes on this over this weekend. Your wish come true here, for sure. Look at that, coming really fast. Lots of communication, Cupid's arrows. Somebody here is really into you, initiating new conversation. <laughs> They're really greedy, could be an earth sign. They're very, very greedy. Very. I mean, I feel like this person just, you know, they're, I don't know how to say it. They're jealous. They're very, very jealous. Okay. They're, you're rebelling against them or this? Nope. No, you're not. In their mind, they're like, nope, we're bringing, you're bring, I'm bringing you back in. I'm reeling you in. They're going to open up though. Tell you how they feel about you. Okay. Which is they have very deep feelings for you. Here, even with the moon in the reverse, the truth is revealed. They tell you. They want you. King of Cups, 
Could be dealing with a masculine or a feminine. Water sign who is non-committal, ghosted, no more ghosting. They ran away, no more running away. Coming back in to connect with you. Virgo. Craziness. You got a lot going on this weekend. As per usual, I feel like my battery is going to die, so I'm just going to pull up one charm here. I know it's short, but it's a weekend. Go out, you know, spend all your time with me. Go out and enjoy your weekend here, Virgo. Okay. So, for those of you who live in Florida, you got tornadoes and hurricanes. You're going to see a lot of lizards laying around uh, out in the open. Save a lizard. Um, there is some connection to uh, some kind of lizard, though, here. Wow, you got a seashell? Pearls? Holy, what's going on? There's a lot of beach energy. Or, or tropics. Tropical energy. Okay, let me get a, let me get one more. Let's tell you, my battery, I don't know what's going on with it. It's just dying, like, so fast. Okay. There's a connection to a rhinoceros. Now, I know we don't have any of them there. Uh, definite, I don't, I'm not pick, picking anything up from that. Um, but a connection to a rhinoceros is all I'm saying. Uh, maybe that resonate for you. Maybe not. I don't know. You also have namaste. Okay. You're connected to that in some way. There's, there's a word. Somebody uses that word. You also have a starfish. Some beach stuff going on. Guess what? Stuff that's like been hidden is going to be all over the beaches. Things that have been hidden. Might even be a mermaid or two coming out all over the beaches. I'm telling you, if you're, listen, if you're somewhere near a beach and there's a storm, which we all know what's going on right now, but if, you, if you're not down there and it's anywhere, there's a storm, and you walk along the beach, you're going to find some kind of gem. You're going to find something special, valuable, significant on the beach. Or you have, okay? That's the message. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Be safe out there, and I will see you all back here on Sunday. Take care. Bye. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between 